Hi, I'm Taylor Legg and I'm a sales agronomy intern with Corteva AgriScience this summer, working out of Midwestern Ontario. I'm in a field today just west of Alora, and this is P96760 AM. The reason I came out here today is because my team and I have been getting a lot of calls about tillering in the corn crop, so I wanted to talk a little bit about why that's happening, what it means, and what it's going to equate to at yield time. So corn is a grass, so it's going to tiller just like any other grass does, but it does it especially in situations where there's something extra to be taken advantage of in the field. Oftentimes this is extra space because of a lower population, but it could also be extra fertility or even just extra moisture. So I think this year we're kind of seeing a perfect storm of all three of those things. It was really dry when the corn crop went in and it stayed dry for a while, so there was pretty limited opportunities for the nitrogen to leach. And when we did get those big rains, the corn was big enough that the nutrients became available and all of a sudden it was go time. And you can see that the plants around me are tillering like crazy. These, this one here has two giant tillers that are actively intercepting sunlight, which is awesome. Tillering can make a lot of growers nervous because they're worried that they might be a resource drain on the plant, but it's actually the opposite. Tillers are contributors, not drains. There's been actually studies that use carbon labeling that show that more sugar travels from the tiller into the main plant than the other way around. Especially in situations like this one where the main leaf is actively photosynthesizing on the tiller, it's going to be producing and bringing back into the main plant. When this canopy closes up a little bit more, that tiller is going to get shaded and probably die off. So tillers rarely actually end up producing ears, but they're around when the corn is growing vegetatively and that's important. Because they die off, uh, there isn't actually any evidence that they improve or reduce yield, but they're not a bad thing in any case. So if you're out scouting your field and you are seeing your corn crop tiller like crazy, it's not something to be concerned about right away. First of all, it could be a hybrid thing. There are lots of hybrids that tiller more than others do, but it could also be a population thing. So it might be worth doing a few stand counts and seeing where you're at for seeding because the corn might just be trying to move in to fill gaps and that's okay too. Either way, they're not something to be worried about. It's just a sign of good growing conditions and that's something I think we can all get excited about.